Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I am so excited today. I feel like that's how I open up all of my vlogs, but today is an extra special day because I get to be a hair model. They're going to do some coloring and cutting, so it's gonna be a drastic change. I haven't had my hair done like colored in about two to three years so it's been a hot minute i really am itching for this change i also don't know exactly how it's going to turn out because it's really up to them but i'm flexible in terms of color because i've done a lot of different uh what variations of you know blonde in the past so i'm pretty comfortable with whatever color that they choose or how light they want to go i've been holding off on it for a very long time because i grew out all of my my bleached ends basically virgin hair now like it has not been touched i have no lightning no color nothing on my hair so it's so healthy so i was like oh i was kind of you know getting nervous about the damage and stuff but the two hairdressers i'm going to be with today are so so talented and one of them has done my hair before and he's lightened it pretty like light and he's never damaged my hair so i'm just super excited just wanted to do this quick intro because this is probably going to be the last time that you see my hair this dark for the time being so i'm nervous but i'm also really excited <laughs> I think this is the first time that you're officially seeing me with my new hair. Aside from the day of when I got the hair done, I washed my hair and now it is not styled. It's incredible how different your hair looks when it is styled by someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> and then you just air dry it after a shower, all its natural glory. I still really love the hair color. It's just that I'm still getting used to it. Whenever I see the mirror and see my reflection, I'm just like, whoa. This is basically what it looks like when I haven't styled it. I will say it is pretty damaged in my eyes because I've had such healthy hair for so long since it was never dyed or bleached for like the past three years after I had my balayage and decided to like grow it all out so that I can go back to my natural hair color which is like really really dark brown or even almost black. It did damage it a little bit but it's nothing crazy where I feel like my hair is breaking off or anything so it still feels strong it's just a tad bit dry so I'm definitely gonna focus on really hydrating it with some deep conditioners in the next few weeks. So hopefully that'll mitigate that dryness. I will be styling it later with some curls because I have plans after work today to meet up with this couple that Charlie actually met from Trader Joe's. It is so random. They were so sweet. They wanted to meet up and just connect and get to know each other. So super excited to do that. I'm always open to like meeting new people because I think it's a really great experience. I just wanted to break the ice and show you guys what my hair looks like. I think this video is gonna go up on Saturday, which is so weird for me because I never upload on Saturdays. I just wanted to show you guys my hair transformation because I do have scheduled videos that are planned to go on Sunday and I don't want you guys to see my new hair in these videos when I didn't even introduce it, so... Here I am. <laughs> also, just for fun, I want to share with you guys what I got for my best friend Sarah's birthday. Her birthday's coming up. I have been just like accumulating gifts for her to put together. Sarah, if you are watching this video, please click out because I don't want you to see what I got you. It's going to be a surprise. The first thing that's exciting is that 
I found the Lululemon Everywhere. What is it called again? I forgot the actual name. If you guys are familiar with this bag, you know how hard it is to find these anywhere right now. It always goes back in stock and then sells out in like 0.2 seconds. I actually found this and it was the only one left in a Lululemon store when I was in San Francisco. I snatched it up because she's been wanting a belt bag. I think she has one, just not this color. I'm honestly kind of hesitant about this color because I don't know how she feels about this type of maroon shade. I got her a gift receipt, so if she hates the color, she can just swap it out for something else. I didn't want to lose the opportunity of getting a belt bag from Lululemon because it is so rare. I personally own, I think, think four belt bags now from Lululemon and they are just like the best thing. This one's really, really fun because it's edible. <laughs> Not edibles, it's edible. You can eat them. This is the Mexican style hot cocoa melts from Trader Joe's. I just saw this and Sarah loves chocolate and hot chocolate and sweets and stuff like that. So I thought I would get her this as a little like fun stocking stuffer type of deal. I thought it was so cute. It's in the shape of a fucking pumpkin. I mean, <laughs> perfection. The next thing is this journal. I bought this from Inside Then Out and Sarah's really into kind of like scrapbooking and reading, writing and like self-awareness and stuff like that. So I thought I would gift her this because I actually own one as well. I haven't used it yet because I've just been so busy. I haven't had the time to write or anything, but this is basically like a journal for self-development. I love these types of journals that you can write to prompts and stuff. So I got her this. I think it's a really nice gift. I got like a lot of bits and pieces <laughs> that I'm going to put in a big bag. The next thing is really exciting as well. So I got this from a local store in Castro in San Francisco, which Castro is a neighborhood that's like really lively, really diverse, and they had a stone crystal store i don't really know exactly what to call it but basically they sell crystals and like gemstones and things like that so i actually got her clear quartz it is so so cute clear quartz is supposed to help clear the mind and all this other good stuff i am not very knowledgeable in crystals and gemstones so so pretty you can use it as decor or put it besides your bedside table or something. I don't know. I just th thought this was really cute and I know that she loves this kind of stuff. Something to decorate her house with at the very least. <laughs> Last but not least, I got her a little mini card and it says, you're my main squeeze. How adorable is this? And it's just a blank card that I'm gonna write her a birthday note envelope that's yellow. It's so cute. I'm going to try to write really tiny so that I can fit my message in here. That is basically everything that I got for Sarah for her birthday. I cannot wait to give all of this to her. I also have to film another video that is a collaboration with OGL Move. So I'm gonna have that video up tomorrow for you guys. This is actually one of the outfits that they sent me. I love it. It is so cool. It is this like shawl, sweatshirt type of shawl and this black tank top. It is so slinky and soft. I love this. And then they sent me their sweatpants here as well. This is just one of the outfits that they sent me, but I have a whole bunch in my, on my rack behind me. So I'm gonna have to get into filming that today. Okay, so you guys are at a really weird angle right now, but this is the best that I could do. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna style my hair by myself. So I usually use the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat Slash UV Protective Primer. That was a mouthful. I usually use this whenever I'm going to be using heat on my hair. I love the way it smells. <laughs> and I feel like it does smooth my hair. I just brush this out so it evenly distributes. I'm going to section my hair half up, half down. Split it in half. I don't really do anything crazy or use a lot of products, just the heat protectant. Maybe like a hair oil if my hair is feeling extra dry, but I don't use hairspray or anything. I actually like the look of curls that have been kind of died down a little bit. I'm using my T3 interchangeable barrel, like, you know, the curling iron that they have. I believe this is the one 
and a quarter inch or one inch barrel. Take it out of the first section, slide it down a little bit, do this. And then that usually gives me like pretty waves, not really a curl curl. So I'm gonna let that kind of do its thing. What the stylist did was go in di different directions, which was really interesting to me because I always go in one direction for my curls. So I'm actually gonna try that. So now I'm gonna go towards my face. And then take it out. Oh, this is actually harder than going towards my face or away from my face. Now I'm gonna go away from my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out because I don't want it to be like too curly. Let's do the other side. So I just finished the bottom of my hair. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the other clip that I have. These are actually from Dry Bar and I love these clips. It actually holds my hair up. And then so I basically put that at the nape of my neck and then put this part down and then put the top part down, split it in the middle, repeat what I did all over again, but just to the top of my head. <laughs> similar to what the stylist did. Looks super voluminous. Look at the back. That's what it looks like. I feel like light hair just looks so much better when you curl it because it just brings out the dimension so well. Oh, I almost like knocked you guys over. That is a hefty load of Amazon packages. <laughs> Let's do an Amazon haul because why not? I got so many goodies from the sale. I'm so excited for this one particular item that I'm going to show you first, the Kindle Oasis. <laughs> I've never owned a Kindle before and I know so many people rave about it. So this was on sale for, I believe about $220. I did get the one without the ads on the lock screen because I just thought that would get annoying after a while. So I just paid the extra 20 to 30 bucks to remove that. And I got the champagne gold color. It is super, super slim and lightweight. I mean, I feel like this is going to be perfect for traveling and I've been really getting myself back into reading a lot. So this is just such a treat for me. I got a screen protector, which is important because I break a lot of screens. <laughs> wow, it is so, so tiny and thin. Oh my gosh. This is the color on the back. Not that it really matters because I'm gonna be putting a case over it anyway. I got this case, it is in the dark gray color. It's like soft touch, magnetic closure. It is thinking probably we'll have to set that up. Okay, the next item that I got from Amazon are these shorts. This is something that I've been eyeing for a little bit. I wanted to try out these shorts that look really similar to the Lululemon speed up shorts. I got it in like this really pretty kind of dusty blue color. I think it's really cute. It feels really good quality. Definitely has a different fabric than the Lululemon ones. It has kind of the same design on the back. It also has a zippered small pocket on your back. I got it in an extra small. I think it'll fit me. It also has like built-in shorts, just like the Lululemons. The next few items are home related stuff. These are for our guest bedroom as well as our own bedroom because I wanted to get another pair of pillowcases that are that silk material. I think it's like mulberry silk or something. And these were on sale for around 16 to $17 per pillowcase. I bought two king sized ones so that it can go on our master bedroom. Got it in the color light gray, I believe. Oh, it's very, very light. It's like a light, light gray. 
I really like it. I think these will look really good on our bed because our bed frame is also that slightly darker than this, but it's a gray color. I will link everything in the description below if you guys are curious in checking these out. They feel really, really nice. For our guest room, we are still trying to buy a second set of all bedding related stuff. So we didn't have another duvet cover. We needed two pillowcases as well, and it's a queen size bed. So we had to get it separate. These are so, so cute. It's a white duvet cover. It comes with two pillowcases as well, like matching ones. It is a white color, but I wanted it to be a little bit different in terms of texture because I like white bedding, but sometimes I feel like it's a little boring and lacks character. So I wanted these ones, which are these like, it's textured. I don't know how to describe it but it looks really pretty and it's super soft, but you can see that there's like little stripes in texture. I believe this is just normal like cotton material. It's nothing fancy and it was on sale. So I'm just glad that I got it for the guest bedroom. So gonna put these on that bed. I also got new pillows for the guest bedroom because we have these Beckham Hotel Collection pillows for our master king size bed and we love it. I will not use any other pillow <laughs> now that I have tried these and these were also on sale for a set of two and I wanted to get them for the queen bed in our guest room. These are like the perfect firmness for me and the perfect size and height. I've basically upgraded all the pillows in our house with these Beckham hotel pillows so this is what it looks like. It is just, oh, it's so soft and I love it so, so much. So glad that we got these so that it can go in our guest bedroom. The next vlog that I'm going to film is going to feature a lot of my bedroom essentials because I have a really fun collaboration coming up as well. I'm gonna show you guys like my must haves to keep my bedroom very like aesthetic and clean and organized and all that good stuff and including like bedding essentials. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. It is now 5, 10 p.m. Charlie and I are now going to head out to a local brewery to meet up with a couple that I told you guys about earlier today. Before I got ready, I actually filmed the OGL collaboration video. So I'm super excited for you guys to see that. That will go up this Sunday. So tomorrow. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my outfit that I am wearing to the brewery before I close out this vlog. I think this is such a cute fall vibe outfit. This is my beloved Burberry bag. It's a crossbody bag. It is the perfect color for this outfit. I have this faux leather jacket from Aritzia that I got during the clientele sale. Um, a couple months back and I'm so glad that I am whipping this out and wearing it out today. Underneath as my base layer, I have a cropped basic simple ribbed top from Aritzia. For my bottoms, my belt is from Mango. My pants are from Everlane. I will talk to you guys again soon. You'll see me again tomorrow with a collaboration video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.